Everybody, welcome. Um, you guys, first of all, all the content creators are gonna be out today. So please support. I'm not trying to step on any toes. I was like, dang, I don't know where I'm gonna jump in. And you guys, my schedule is quite wacky. So <laughs> my schedule is gonna be wacky all this month in May. Um, I'm dealing with some family stuff today, and um, so just pray for us on this end, please. Um, please pray for us. Um, so we're dealing with that over in my family today. Um, so it's maybe a little late, but shout out to you guys that have been emailing me this Keith Freeman story. And I've been listening to all the wonderful content creators. Um, I just finished, I listened a little bit late night crew and I listened to a little bit of Shawan Burns and I saw late Nate, the lawyer is on. So shout out to those wonderful content creators giving us a break. I cannot wait to finish uh, Shawan and Nate's because I like the when they get into the financial stuff. I'm not a huge financial <laughs> uh, head person and legal head person. So I like those little um, delicate things that they bring to the table. And of course, um, the intro and DJ that Shay from Late Night Crew give us. So yeah, I want to start with that. I hope all is well with you and yours. Indigo, what's up? Hiring on YouTube. Jay Jones, everybody in the house. So I'm not in my usual space. So I'm trying to make do. Aurelius McCormick. I love that name. That's very distinguished. Like if I saw your name on an application and I know you're not supposed to do that, I'd be like, Aurelius know what he's talking about, what they're talking about. Okay. Give them the job. <laughs> um, so you guys, um, so wait, is London Bridge? We need a code word. You know how you have a cold word like the red roof has flown off the nest. We need something like that. So has London, has Dalton Bridge began to fall? Do we need we need a cold word? Um, this is crazy. So when you look at the thing, I'm <laughs> just sorry. Thank you. You hiring? I wish. <laughs> oh, in the pen, if it, it's in the comments, if you have something to say, just so you know, over here we're respectful over here. If you have something to say, feel free to call in. We're going to review what's going on with Keith Freeman and the Dalton Streets. And before I even start, uh, yesterday, someone bought me, it says somebody bought you three coffees on Buy Me A Coffee. It didn't tell me who and it wouldn't let me thank them, but I, I shared it on um, Twitter. Thank you so much, whoever bought me the three coffees. And thank you guys for coming in, liking the video. Thank you for all the support you give me anyway fashion thank you to the 47 members of the channel thank you thank you thank you thank you for the shout outs thank you for sharing the videos i just want to be clear thank you thank you thank you also on my community tab if you go over there you can see all the content people i've been watching when i want to hear the dalton tea okay so y'all jedediah brown said it was hell week um, Lori Lightfoot says she wasn't going to leave, leave a stone unturned. And it seems like, I don't know who's doing it. I don't know why people are like, don't give Lori credit, but I have to, it seems like nothing was moving until Lori Lightfoot came. If I'm wrong, let me know. But it seems like the ball didn't run. It might've been, um, what they say, serendipity, a coinky dink. But nothing moved until Lori Lightfoot came to town. And I don't know if she put the pressure on them 
or if just the fact that they know she's an investigator, they started scrambling. Even the even the attorney attorney general, maybe the attorney general, maybe they started to scrambling. You know what I mean? Maybe the attorney general was like, "Uh oh, now you bring in Lori Lightfoot into it." Uh, <laughs> where my thing at, y'all? <laughs> The attorney general was like, okay, mm -mm, no, let me get it together. Let me get it together real quick. Because what you're not going to do is bring Miss Degree up in here right now. So let's get to what's going on. And I just want to let y'all know the link to call in. And we will not be long-winded today because you're going to get something to do. Can I be recognized, Mayor? You want to be long-winded? <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> we we better be long winded. We can't be long winded today. Okay, so uh, it's a beautiful day outside, but let me tell you, that, that it was crazy. It's crazy. Hey, Reality Check TV, what's up, Burgundy Blue? I appreciate Brian. The fish is going to fry. You know what? We have a running joke in here. We be like, if you don't get your act together, you're gonna be frying fish at sharks. <laughs> that used to be a running joke. Uh, you get it together before you start frying fish at sharks. You are so right, but mm -hmm. so hello everybody. If I missed you, so man, what's up? This is just the beginning, the abyss. <laughs> I love what Shay plays that. So you guys, let's get into it. Um, uh, we're seeing movement. I'm sorry. I I, I know everybody's like Lori don't got nothing to do with this affairs. I'm sorry. Maybe it's a coinky thing. Lori could be on the beach enjoying her 30K check right now and know that just her name and you know how stern Lori Lightfoot be looking. Lori Lightfoot don't play. She looks stern and she came to do business. It could be, and I'm putting my little delicate picture of Lori right here. <laughs> hey, Lori. She had the little pink sponge rollers up in here in her hair, the little sponge rollers. That was her hair right there. But yeah, let's get on into what happened, y'all. Let's play the clip. Black Herm, Herm, Black Homer Chavez. You guys, forgive me. You know, I have a speech impediment, the new people that don't know. So I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to catch up and get better at it. Um, yeah, she was. Prosecutor, right? Federal prosecutor. Steve Strack. Hello, everybody. Keith, wait a minute. I don't think Keith, Keith they said, did you guys notice? On the thing, indictment means it's not a indictment means it's not a charge per se, but they're innocent to I mean they're innocent to prove it guilty. Like I said, go to Shawan Burns and go to Nate the lawyer. I always get my info from over there because uh the, the financial aspects I learned a lot from Shawan. I'm on her other channel watching, and then the the lawyer stuff, the legal stuff, I'll be over there on Nate the lawyer <laughs> listening. But it's not, he's innocent until he's guilty, right? But just the fact that they put, see, sometimes it's just media. Sometimes if you do something, put it out there. Now, this part I can speak on, okay? I can speak on this part. Sometimes it's just the pressure. Sometimes it could be, they say Lori Lightfoot is coming out. And they say Lori Lightfoot is coming out. And then Lori Lightfoot comes out, right? And then that's enough. That's enough for them. Hold on, guys. I'm about to, I'm about to move locations. One second. Okay, it's a little quieter. Okay, so sometimes, sometimes it could be something as simple as Lori Lightfoot is coming, and people start scrambling. Something as simple as, because even at that board meeting, they were on high alert. It could be something simple as um, Keith Freeman been indicted. Do you know how many people folded just on that? So, yeah, we watched Goodfellas. Ooh, I cannot wait. I got to go see it. I love what I'm telling you, I love watching him. I love watching Nate the Lawyer. I'd be like, okay, this is what it means. And this is the thing. This is a great question, Sean Sweat. 
what happens with the Dalton administration position after this? Because they don't say anything, right? They, you know, like, like, okay, it's a lot of things I teeter totter on, and it's no shame in my game to tell you that. But Andrew Holmes stepping down should not be a second question. It shouldn't be like that's really a F you to women. It's a F you to the village. It's a F you to justice. We know he's not proven guilty, but him stepping down shouldn't even be a question. Just the allegations alone and him not showing up like a coward. You know what I mean? And I have two faults. Let me tell y'all this. Now, I'm not a lawyer, but that dang on, um, what's his name? Delgado. He doesn't care about Tiffany, the administration, nor the village, nor the township. He does not care. He doesn't. Anybody that think Delgado care about anybody's well-being but his own is sadly mistaken. So if Keith Freeman think they're going to call Delgado and he's going to get them out of a sticky situation, they're mistaken. They're mistaken. Hello, everybody. Tanya, hello. He don't care about nothing but his paper. Do you think Delgado? Delgado does not care. I, I mean, and I remember one board meeting, she was like, talking about Odelson and she like get you a get you a um <laughs> he Delgado cares about his coins and 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 look if we if you misunderstood and thought he cared he didn't even he didn't even act like he did he watched he watched stuff now we have to get go down now we'll have to go down the line on that but remember Delgado and his divorce brought out all these extra tow contracts and all that stuff allegedly you know and Cicero and all that stuff Delgado doesn't care he 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 clocking hours y'all messing up it's his look at how that look at how and I'm gonna get off of this because I want to play the clip but you guys that have been looking at the um what was the thing that just happened at Thornton Township Town Hall meeting? And Tiffany, the lawyer, was advising. We have three steps. Delgado in that meeting on April 1st, he blatantly let them violate an open meetings act and didn't care, allegedly. Number two, Tiffany, the lawyer, wouldn't even identify herself at the Thornton Township Town Hall meeting. A lawyer that won't even identify who she is won't e and will lie she sat up there and lied to stephanie wiederman face when stephanie was she had the kahunas honey she was stephanie was like i saw you look it up on your laptop i was like go on stephanie she was like i could look up a lot just lying to the citizens right there getting smart with the citizens they don't care they probably have their own allegedly like i'm saying they probably have their own meetings like, y'all, we probably got three more months before she get picked up or they get picked up. We probably got three more months before the village really go bankrupt. That's how Delgado and them in my head, allegedly, I bet you that's how they're doing. Like, this is the easiest money Delgado ever made. I swear, I, I feel like, do you guys feel like that? Like, the village of Dalton is the easiest money Delgado ever, ever made. <laughs> Think Delgado will represent Keith on Dalton's dime? More bill? Yeah. I bet you. I, oh, it was one more. It was another Delgado representation. Remember, they settled at Thornton Township. They settled out of court for the 5500 for the watchdog, Edgar, Edgar County watchdogs when they wanted that four-year request and they didn't get it. They had to pay 55, Thornton Township taxpayers had to pay $5,500 to Edgar City watchdogs for not honoring the FOIA request, right? And that the lawyer representing that case, the settlement was from Delgado firm too. This is the this is probably the easiest money he has ever made, in my opinion, allegedly. Okay, let's play this. Lawyers profit off of fighting and war. Same thing happens during divorces. You are right. You are right. He doesn't care. I think he's way over that one mil. Christina Henry said he made almost one mil. He doesn't care. I think he's way over that. And 
Um, Delgado has a huge law firm. Now, Indigo, I don't know nothing about law, law, right? But this is my thing. You know how people be trying to make partner and stuff like that? Can you imagine? Because that's why I felt like, I know Tiffany is a lead counsel. She might be partner by now. I would love to go back and see when she made partner, if she did. Because I'm sure if people are on this case and bringing in more and more money and selling deals with the township and billing these hours, man... They're going to kill. Wait, is he going off up against Berwyn? Hey, honeybee. Delgado's firm is going up against Long Island Audit in a county in Illinois. Was that the Berwyn lawsuit? And you know what? I bet you, you know what? I'm willing to bet that Long, Island's go, Long Island Audit's going to win. I don't think he's lost the case yet. I've been, I just started watching his content when I met him. He hasn't lost the case yet. And People have their theories about him. Like I'd be looking on Reddit and stuff, but I watched him hand out money to like when he won a lo uh, lawsuit, he hand out money to the citizens of that place. That's Lori Lightfoot. <laughs> That's my Lori Lightfoot picture. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a conflict of interest? Yeah, Tony Fate, but they don't care. They don't care. Hey, Donna K. Donna K, I see your comments and I just want you to know um, I respect your comments. So you're welcome here. I just wanted you to know, I never saw you in a live, but Donna K be fighting for her life in the comments. <laughs> she, they, they be fighting for their life in the comments and you have a right to feel the way you feel. I just wanted to let you know that. It wouldn't surprise me if Tiffany didn't turn him in. I still think she's fighting for Dalton Freeman. Freeman always looked nervous to me. Okay. Yep. Hey, Orbs. Hello, everybody. If I missed you, we have 126 people in the chat. This won't be a long chat because I had a day. Um, but I just want to thank you guys so much. Um, let's go over to Wyoming. And then also the link, if you have something to say, is in there. I'm not in my normal spot. So it is a little, probably, you, it's a little different. I can't see everything if you catch my drift. I don't think Lightfoot had anything to do with it. Okay. The AG probably knew what was happening. And that's why they didn't step in. They were waiting for the feds. Okay. I can see that too, Wyoming gal. But do you think the timing of it, do you think maybe Lori entering in put pressure on Kwame? You know what I mean? Oh, that's our attorney general, y'all. Kwame Raul. I'm just wondering, do you think that put the pressure on him? Because Jason House had been writing letter after letter. Citizens have been wait letter after letter. Now, remember, you guys, this has been over two years. People have been going through this with the super mayor. So nobody responded. Not the state's attorney, not the county, not the uh, attorney general, not Cook County Board. Nobody would respond to the cries for help. So do you find it interesting that Lori Lightfoot now gets here, right? And it's movement? Let me know. The village might be $10 million in debt. Oh, hey, Kiki. Hey, everybody. Long Island's audit only ambition is justice. Yeah, Scott, I've learned a lot for him, from him, like... um what my rights are. I didn't know. I, I just didn't know. You got to see that first video when I met him. I was like, can I film you? And he was like, I'm in public. I'm like, what that mean? What that got to do with me? I got, I don't got nothing to do with me. Thanks everybody. Horrible mayor, but great prosecutor. Like the video. Thank you. Thank you. And everybody welcome. Welcome. I can't see everything, so I can't catch up. So I'm not trying to do it. Exactly. I think Lori got in touch with Kwame Raul and made him aware they're not responding in Dalton and action is needed. I think so too. Um, and and I, I can't wait because remember Lori said she's she's going to work and let the work speak for itself and leave comments until the end. So we'll find out because what she has three months to turn everything around. Thanks for that. Um, John QQ. Thank you, John QQ. Love your channel. I'm so glad you started jumping into the Dalton pool. You have a unique take and you really analyze and break down the videos. I was in your a live listening the other day and you dropped stuff. I had no idea. So thank you so much. She has it till May 6th. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 
moving in silent. Lori Lightfoot, she got something to prove too, right, guys? She has something to prove. Like, if she do this, this is huge. Like, I don't even know why she would come out of retirement to do this, but hey, her name, her, her name rings numbers. I mean, rings bells. All of this is good luck for Lori, regardless of if she was instrumental. Two major developments since she was hired. Naming of Andrew Holmes and Keith's indictment. And you guys, I, I'm with Tanya Harper. Thank you so much. I agree. Um... You guys, I agree. Lori's connection run deep. I think so. Lori, Lori said, Lori said, all I got to do is send a text. They're going to answer. I, I feel like it's Lori. Now, let me, let before I make anybody sensitive, anybody feel like it's Jedediah? And I'm not trying to be funny, but anybody feel like Jedediah? See, sometimes <laughs> I'm not, I'm being dead serious. We're talking about Lori, but sometimes the sneaky way, what y'all think about, if you think Jedediah Brown, he's here in a plaid shirt, you know, Jedediah and Cairo, and that's Andrew Holmes in the middle. What do you think? Jedediah saying it was going to be hell week. Do you think he's making people sweat just by saying it's going to be hell week? You guys, what do you think? What do you think? Do he got people on their tippy toes? It could be. It could be, hey, Mara. Thanks, everybody. Hold up. Jay Jones, thank you for the $9.99 super chat. Thank you so much. You're so generous. Everybody, thank you. Just like the video. He did, he did say, I think Jedediah Mosa knew, knew something that was going to happen. Jedediah Family Feud. We couldn't believe <laughs> I definitely think Jed is getting the info out. Yeah, Jed, Jedda is being, Jedi, Jedi is being helpful. He did say it was hell week. Okay, y'all, let's play this. If Lacey goes down this week, yes. Yeah, Je Jedediah did have a relationship with uh, Andrew Holmes before. He did. This was during the Kanika Jenkins case. Hey, Tony, I do believe that Lori has stepped in and helped to make stuff happen. Yep. I think, you know... Now, Jed got them stirred up. Hell weeks begin after the 27th. <laughs> Jedediah is a mess. The intrig the intriguing thing is we don't know, but we're seeing movement. Absolutely. Let's go. Thank you, honeybee. Hit that like button. Let's play this video. I got to go get my charger now, guys. This, this is hell week over here. Me trying to just get the news out. Let me go to there. So we're going to start with Fox 32 here. To be in terror, it's certainly a heartbreaking situation here. The victim had just gotten out of class when he was struck by... Sorry, guys. Be right there. I was looking for something else. One second. You know what? I think that they're live. What is 403? Let's see. They are live. Let's go here. Yeah, they're live. So let me go to WGN. And thanks for being here. 183 people in the chat. Let's go over here.
This is quite interesting. Tanya, Sean, thank you for your membership. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all so, so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Y'all, y'all are amazing. Thank you. Let's go. Okay, now I think I got it, guys. Y'all just make me feel special. Thank you so much for coming to this small YouTube channel. Y'all can go anywhere in the world. I appreciate you. It's so hard, um, you know, to cover this because we like try not to cover somebody downfall, but we could be like, girl, come on, girl, you you're gonna have to change your ways now. Especially with the Andrew Holmes situation. Now, why Delgado won't tell? Well, they said she'll listen, right? All right, let's go. Oh, this is an old one. What? Okay, well, I guess, th well, we're going to play this anyway. This has something to do with Andrew Holmes. Let's go over here. Share this screen, then we'll go to Keith Freeman. Let's be that. Um... as a crisis responder helping victims of gun violence, Andrew Holmes has also served for several years as a trustee in the village of Dalton. Holmes is now named in a civil lawsuit filed Monday by a Dalton police officer and former member of Mayor Tiffany Henniard's security detail, as well as a former village employee who believes she was sexually assaulted by Holmes. We are withholding her identity because of the nature of the allegations, which are now, according to four Dalton trustees, trustees, part of what former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot will take on in her new job as special investigator into Mayor Henniard's tenure. She will be looking at it in a civil manner to, the, to uh, get the, give the board an idea. This is not a criminal matter that she's looking at it from that perspective. The complaint says the alleged incident took place during a trip to Las Vegas in May of last year that included Henniard along with various employees from the village and Thornton Township. It was during the last evening of that trip that the complaint alleges police officer Byron Miles received a phone call from Holmes, who began describing a host of his exploits from the trip, many of a sexual nature. And there was some suggestion that she may not have had the ability to consent and or did not provide consent. It is at this point that, according to the complaint, Officer Miles began to record the call, which eventually switched over to FaceTime. Trustee Holmes then panned the camera toward a bed where Officer Miles could see a woman who was partially undressed. The complaint goes on to say that the following day when the woman in question woke up, she found she was in Trustee Holmes' hotel room fully dressed. She was embarrassed as she believed she had blacked out. However, it was not, according to the complaint, until their return to Dalton that Officer Miles, suspecting that the alleged victim was not aware of what had transpired, went to her with what he knew. The lawsuit alleges that at a later meeting with the mayor, Henniard stated, if that information got out, Henniard would be ruined and all of the work she had done would be lost. According to the lawsuit, within weeks, the alleged victim was out of a job and Officer Miles removed from the mayor's security detail. The lawsuit asserts claims against Henniard for retaliation. While our calls to Andrew Holmes have gone unanswered today, a spokesperson for Tiffany Henniard said they are cooperating but would not comment on an ongoing investigation. They did, however, point us to a statement issued a few weeks ago before Holmes was specifically named, saying that the village of Dalton previously conducted their own investigation into the matter. Former police officer Miles was interviewed and denied knowing anything about these allegations. Also, despite numerous attempts by the village's independent investigators to contact the employee, she refused to give a statement or cooperate with our investigation. Unfortunately, this is nothing more than two disgruntled village employees who are trying to make off with the taxpayers' hard-earned dollars.
No criminal charges have been filed against Andrew Holmes, but Las Vegas police do confirm that they have an open investigation into the claims. In Dalton, I'm Michelle Gallardo, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Okay, let's go on over to the Keith Freeman thing. I didn't think that was going to pop up. So we're going to go on over here to Keith Freeman's. And let me share my screen again. And thanks for being patient with me, guys. What a day. Okay. No, thanks. And we got all these ads. We're going to click up out of here. Click here. Man, that ad was long, y'all. But Mar Marva says she gonna give me her <laughs> ad free. <laughs> Marva, send me that ad free login, baby. We're talking about talks. We don't even know what that is. Is it something intimate? Talks injections. What is that for? Okay, let's go ahead. WGN Investigates was first to report today a top aide to Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard has been indicted for bankruptcy fraud. It comes amid ongoing questions about Henyard's spending and leadership. And legal experts say it could be the first sign that the feds are trying to get people to share what they know about potential government corruption in the South Suburbs. Let's be smarter than that. This is, this is not just the price is right. Despite sitting next to Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard at countless meetings, the feds allege Keith Freeman not only failed to report his income from the village, he actively lied about it. Freeman is Henyard's top aide in both Dalton and Thornton Township. As part of a personal bankruptcy case, he was required to report his earnings. But this indictment on one count of bankruptcy fraud says Freeman falsely stated he only worked for the township and made just over $99,000 last year. Prosecutors say he tried to hide his Dalton earnings via a pass-through company, which brought his income to $195,000 last year. They further allege the village of Robbins has a claim against Freeman for more than $90,000 he took without authorization from a previous post he held as village administrator there. This is long coming. If a person can lie on their own financials, what do you think they're doing for the village? Nobody is untouchable. That's what I really... I want to say nobody is untouchable. So if this is just uh, the first domino to all of them falling, let it happen. Ooh, hey, Bradley, how you feeling? Freeman is a key player in our reporting on Tiffany Henyard because of how many roles he plays for her. In addition to the Dalton and Township jobs, Freeman also, for a time, was the registered agent of the Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation. But there's no foundation in the state of Illinois moving like we move, shaking, moving like we move, right thing. That's right. right. While Henyard's namesake charity claims to help cancer patients, WGN Investigates has reported it received most of its early money from taxpayers and has failed to file required paperwork showing how it spends its money. How come you don't respond to my emails? Ah, uh, there you go. There you go. Huh? Yeah, there you go. That's all you get from me. That's all you get from me today. How come the charity hasn't filed uh, its financial disclosures about how money was spent? How would I know that? That's a good question, though. For months, WGN Investigates has reported on questionable conduct on Henyard's watch, including unexplained travel, including first-class airfare and fine dining on the taxpayer's dime. Credit card statements show Freeman was on many of the trips, including one to Las Vegas, where another Henyard aide now claims a Dalton trustee sexually assaulted her. Others accuse Henyard of using Freeman and other government employees to retaliate against her opponents. Court watchers say the feds could use the bankruptcy charge against Freeman to get him to cooperate in other investigations. When the feds are looking at a larger scheme or relationship, oftentimes what they have to do is go for people who are below or the lower part of the food chain, get them for something, charge them with something, because that's the leverage they need to be able to sit down with that person and say, now, if you help us, life might be good for you. If you don't help us, you're in a lot of trouble. Now, what do you want to do? So I said one down, about 25 more to go. 
No comment this afternoon from Keith Freeman. His boss, Tiffany Henyard, said through a spokesperson that she's aware of the indictment but won't comment due to the ongoing investigation. So we don't know whether taxpayers will continue paying Freeman's two salaries despite today's bankruptcy fraud charge. Take on the day. Question. A shout out to Hannibal is hungry. Hannibal, thank you for the $10 super chat. The dominoes are falling. Make sure you guys, I always say I started following Hannibal. <laughs> I'm not new to Hannibal is hungry. I was following him during the pandemic when he, he, he did like this. It wasn't a bad exposure, but DoorDash di Diaries. And he helped a lot of us that was doing gig work at the time. So thank you, Hannibal is hungry. I appreciate you so much. Um, the dominoes are falling is right. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to use Keith Freeman. And they're going to use Keith Freeman as like, that's going to be a shakeup because he got a wife and kids, right? Who wants like their wife leave, losing sleep, daddy not coming home. That's how they're going to get him. That's how they're going to get him. And I'm sure he promised the super mayor it's nothing I would do. I would never turn on you, but it, it ain't only Billy Holiday that sang the blues. <laughs> Keith Freeman gonna be in there singing like a canary, baby. He about to sing like a canary. So you guys, oh, I want to say thank you so much, Tanya, for buying me a, co a coffee. I don't know how to put up my buy me a coffee emoji on StreamYard yet, but thank you. I appreciate y'all so much. Everything you do for me. I appreciate you. Just like in the video, it's enough. Just being here, listening to what I got to say is enough. I appreciate you so much. And shout out to all the wonderful content creators like Hannibal is Hungry out there covering this story. It makes us feel as a as a Dalton night, as a Thornton Township night, it makes us feel great that somebody is covering this story. Give you a prime, look, prime example, case and study. <laughs> Who said that? Somebody said that. Prime is in, oh, the mayor, super mayor. Prime is sample. Case is study. Um, remember the Sweetie Pies lady? I got off course real quick, but I'm going to do this real fast. The Sweetie Pies lady, uh, welcome to Sweetie Pies. When um, that murder happened with her grandson, you guys remember that? I forgot, Tim Norman. Do you know only like two YouTubers covered it? And nobody was getting down to the news, going to the courthouse to see, and the people in the community and Andre's family felt lost. So I'm trying to equate that into what's going on in Dalton. People have been asking for someone to come for help and people like Hannibal is Hungry, Pink Book Lessons, Nate the Lawyer, Shawan Burns, uh, Shay from Late Night Crew who actually came down. You know what I mean? Like really cool that people, uh, the auditors, Tyra Terminator, Long Island Audit, really coming to see about us is great. To come to this small town. This town is small, y'all. You could throw a rock and hit all four corners. So thank you so much. They said, Miss Robbie, yeah. Well, nobody was paying, nobody, that whole thing, what Tim was doing, only the youth, Midwest Audits and Firms Audit. Thank you, Dave's channel. They had the best content. Midwest and Firm Audits had really good content that night. Uh, shout out to it's one, it's one more. He's in the chat. He's really good too. Um, and he, it's just that his name hasn't come through a lot, so a lot of times we forget. Uh, Chicago Reality Check Chicago TV covered really good. Got really good footage of Lori Lightfoot when she came into the room. All right, so let's get back to this, cause you know. You know what happened. Y'all already know what happened. We didn't let Hedible get get up here and <sighs> can I be recognized, Mayor? You want to be long winded? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. Period. <laughs> All right. So Keith Freeman, he didn't. Uh, so they got him first, and we know from watching like. <laughs> Goodfellows and casinos and and casino and power, right? We know how they do it. They get everybody around you first. It's not like they just swoop in and get the super mayor. And I just think that when is the point of redemption? When will she say enough is enough? It should have been way back when. But if she had any chance of redemption, 
it should have been the Andrew Holmes situation. So now you got Keith Freeman that proudly stood in front of the door when Miss Hill was locked out eating his Dunkin' Donuts saying you can't get in. Proud, uh, side note, I just know Ben Bradley, he's one, but I know Dane, Dane Planko, he mad he didn't get this exclusive, man. I can't wait to see what Dane Planko said. We already told Dane Planko don't come back over here messing with people, shutting their business down. But um, the fact that he is the one that, remember, the FOIA requests have to get answered by him. They basically isolated Clerk Key. Uh, remember, uh, if you want it, Nikita saying her emails were wiped. Remember, he was in charge of everything. So he that's why when you saw him at this latest board member, I think it boy me board meeting, I think it was Shay that said it. Um, he was looking a little worn. Even now, I would say who looked worn. I looked him in his face, Keith, Keith Price. Keith Price looked like he had the world on his shoulders. So maybe when they, after they heard Lori Lightfoot was coming to town, maybe everyone got a little worried. But if you're doing right and it's nothing to hide, don't worry about it. I believe the trustees only want to know one thing. Where's the budget? What's the income? What's going on with the, what's going on with Dalton, period. We need to fix this. We need to make it right for the residents. And instead of hiding it, you know what I mean? So they didn't know. I think she thought she could fix it in time with that money that's coming down the pipeline, that grant. I think that's what she thinks. Like, you know, my bank account's in a negative, but I got a grant coming, so I'm going to fill it up. I don't think she's working in the moves of government. I think she's working in the moves of maybe, and I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but they trying to make street moves, in my opinion. Like, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul, you know, not, no, I'm not supposed to use that, but just that kind of situation. They're not using government rules. Yes, corruption has been running in Dalton for years, but it ain't never been nothing like this just out in the all open. I also want to remind you guys, the link, if you have something to say, is pinned in the comment section. We're not going to be long. Let's see. Orb says, show me the money. Hannah, what did Hannibal say? Let me scroll up. Let me scroll. Orbs, thank you for the super sticker. You're so kind. Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks for being so kind by being here. I appreciate you, Orbs. Appreciate everybody. Um, let me scroll up. They did put his whole name out there. Poor Keith. Keith, you know, okay. Uh, my heart go out to people, but it's like, when you got that many chances to make it right and y'all just thought y'all was running everything, even the little, okay, let's say you weren't doing the big things, the little petty things, taking Chris Gonzalez off the letterhead, taking Kiana P Belcher P photo down and you know the crap, you see her walking in with her photo all the time, Trustee Belcher um, walking in with her photo all the time. And you still want to antagonize that situation, cutting off people mics, making things public instead of Q and A uh, or citizens address public comments, not printing, rapid firing the numbers, and saying if y'all don't know how government work is your fault, stuff like that. All the little tricks they were playing with someone that's I I, I hate to say this, Delgado, just wait, wait. Delgado, wait before I get in trouble. I got I got some clothes, I, I got some jewelry, uh uh the rest I got tied up in investments. I ain't got nothing else. Delgado, I ain't got nothing else, so don't come over here suing me. Okay, that's all I got. But what I'm saying is Delgado could care less about them. And they're sitting up there like I sat in that movie. I mean that movie, <laughs> it was a movie. I sat in that meeting and watched how the how Tiffany was telling the lawyer what to do telling her what to do y'all that's wild the lawyer telling you what to do i mean you telling your lawyer what to do like protect me say this cut it off okay now it's not q a it's just comments now the comments aren't three minutes it's two minutes okay now we're gonna lock you out the building because we saw two strangers come in and miss kim uncomfortable it's ridiculous and i think what makes it more ridiculous is if you're not doing right Let's say they weren't doing right with one little thing. 
they not doing right with a hundred things. So why would you think you could get away with it? Like we were talking about this. I feel like this indictment is small potatoes. I think they just want to get them in there. Like y'all say, put them in a dark room. You know, you're the effed up, right? You know, you're the effed up. <laughs> have him sweat, have him sweat and spill all the beans. For what? It feels surreal, like a movie. Yeah, I don't think those grants were coming either. I'm so tired of hearing about what's coming down the pipeline. I agree. I agree, Tony. Where's my chocolate co-weens at, ladies? <laughs> we are co-weens. I didn't see a signature on that indictment. Can someone fact check that? That's great. You know what? We're going to probably, um, if you got time, I would suggest everybody go to Nate the Lawyer did a breakdown of the indictment. Hannibal, that makes perfect sense. His demeanor has changed. I think I think uh, Keith Freeman, let me tell you something. It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun, okay? So y'all locking people out. Can you imagine you being locked up for locking people out of a citizen's building? Is it worth that? Is it worth that? I just thought about this. Remember yesterday there was a meeting and Keith and another board member had their heads down and disgust because of this very day here when he was caught lacking. Oh, wow. Also, I'm, I'm trying to catch up on these. Also, the indictment states that Freeman created false docs with the bankruptcy. When Tiff asked Clerk Key for all the records, I believe it was to create receipts. Anyone agree? Ooh, I never thought of that. Okay, so this was my question. I had peeped in, and uh, Nate, the lawyer, was talking when I peeped in. Um, this is my question. I am confusion, like I always say. How he didn't put the village of Dalton in on his bankruptcy, and he on TV sitting up front every week? Is it because he thought like most of us don't nice thing? Like nobody watching those board meetings. Like usually it's not that 20, 30, 50,000 people watching a board meeting was never a thing. Of course, it probably wasn't a thing for a hundred people to watch. So is that what he thought that nobody, they just weren't moving. I don't know how they're moving. I don't know. Thank you for this, you guys. After the whispers of the feds being in the mix, his input and demeanor almost became invisible. I feel like Keith Price a little bit too. Like Keith Price was a little bit more, and thanks for that, Brittany. Brittany. I, I feel like Keith Price too. He got a little more, he, he walking a little softer now. He walking a little softer now because that's no fun. You go down for what? You go down. When you go away, people forget about you. Their lives are going on day to day and you stuck with time going slow as heck daily. So if you thought that the super mayor, like if you think about it, and I'm not blaming her, but I am. <laughs> no, I am blaming her. Think about all those people like poor Miss. Um, what was the young lady that Miss Sandra? Miss Sandra, who had a heart attack because her bill, she, first of all, her husband was sick. Her husband was sick. She worked for Thornton Township for so many years. She's the HR director. And when she was locked out her office, she dealt with that. And she just worked from her car. And you can find that interview on Hannibal is Hungry. Um, she just worked from her car. And then it started to get bad for her. And she knew her time was coming to an end. She was okay with that. They refused to give her her last check, her last couple of checks. I can't remember what it was. She ended up having a heart attack. Do you think if they don't care about the people that's there working, you ain't got to be their friend or something like that. Like even friends, look at Don Cor. Look at how Don Cor was running the campaign there at midnight for her to get appointed. I wonder, I, you guys, I'm going off course here, but we were talking about Chris Gonzalez and um, Stephanie Wiedemann entered the chat the other day. And uh, we were talking. I thought Don Cor still worked there, but he doesn't. Remember when um, Chris Gonzalez made that appointment? Like I nominate Tiffany Hendrick. I wonder if Don Cor had something to do with that. Not not like throwing him under the bus, but if he was like, "Man, you do this, we promise you this," and then Don Cor ended up getting the short end of the stick and Chris Gonzalez. No job for Don Cor, and Chris Gonzalez is on the outs. What y'all think? Because 
for her to be there at 1153 and that's who by her side why would don core be by her side out of all the people in the world just thoughts just thoughts burgundy just emailed you the department of justice statements let's go to the email guys thank you tanya let's go to the facts let's go to the facts yeah it's 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 crazy it's crazy this whole thing let's go ahead and see if i got that we're 54 minutes in we're 54 minutes in but being around you you know you know how y'all make me feel that i have felt the most connected and valued i feel the most connected and valued with y'all all right let's go ahead and go to the department of justice statement and you guys i'm not a legal person we're just gonna thank you for that tanya oh and i want to say one more thing patricia Thank you for buying me a coffee. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so, so much. That's so kind of you. I appreciate you. Okay. Hey, Theodis. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Becky said, you're absolutely right, Burgundy. This mess just started jumping out at her and knows all the rules and regs that she can't let slide. Turn on the lights because she don't play. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all, it's crazy out here. It's getting crazy. Okay, let's go ahead to, um, let's read this statement that Tanya sent us. Thank you, Tanya. Okay, let's go on over. Y'all, this is crazy. I can't believe. And if you're just joining me, you're new to my channel. We just talk about it over here. It's We're figuring it out together. I'm no expert. Um, I just... Uh, Dalton Knight and used to work for Dalton so I'm seeing stuff from an old old school perspective and I just find this interesting so it says senior administrator for Dalton Illinois in Thornton Township Illinois charged in federal court with bankruptcy fraud now you guys I can't recall this part weren't we talking about how the bankruptcy lawyers didn't sign his bankruptcy like at the end so we knew something was up and that was like i think jedediah brought that up and that was like on 4 12 he kept on saying 4 12 like they were like no nah, we're not signing this jedediah did bring that out a senior administrator for both the village of Dalton, illinois and thornton township illinois has been charged in federal court with engaging in a bankruptcy fraud scheme involving the making of false statements in his bankruptcy petition to conceal from creditors his assets and sources of income and a significant claim against him an indictment returned monday in u.s district court in chicago charges keith douglas freeman 45 of orland park illinois with one count of bankruptcy fraud the charge is punishable by a maximum look, death by fire he needs to be stoned that's what needs to happen he needs to be stoned the charge is punishable by a maximum sentence of five years in federal prison arraignment has not yet been scheduled okay so he doesn't that means he doesn't have a court date like i said we got i know i don't want to use nate the lawyer content but i'm sure he has a better breakdown the indictment was announced by Morris Pasquale, acting United States Attorney for the Northern District of Illinois, Robert W. West Wheeler, Jr., Special Agent in Charge of the Chicago Field Office of the FBI, Justin Campbell, Special Agent in Charge of the IRS Criminal Investigation Chicago Field Office, and Ruth M. Mendonca, Mendonca Inspector inspector in charge of the chicago division of the u.s postal inspection service what they got the post office police in there good googly moogly oh my goodness who's who's gonna join the race uh who's gonna join the race um big mike please enlighten me okay let's continue they got Ooh, they got everybody here. The officials noted that Freeman was indicted as part of an ongoing federal investigation. According to the indictment, 
Freeman on January 3rd, 2024, filed a Chapter 7 bankruptcy petition in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court in Chicago. The petition included a schedules and statement of financial affairs, a document in which the debtor is required to identify, among other things, all of his assets and sources of income, as well as any claims made against him, any claims against him. The indictment alleges that Freeman made several materially false statements and omissions in the document, including knowingly underreporting income he derived from his employment as both the village administrator for Dalton and the municipality manager for Thornton Township, as well as fees he received from his private consulting business. Freeman also allegedly concealed the that the village of Robbins, Illinois, had filed a claim against him related to approximately $90,396 that Freeman received in excess of his authorized salary while he was the village administrator for Robbins, a position he held from 2017 to 2021. Freeman also furnished the Chapter 7 trustee with a purported copy of his 2022 individual income tax return, which represented that Freeman's total income from employment was $45,186. The indictment states that Freeman knew he had not filed an income tax return for that year and that his actual income which included a $100,000 salary from Dalton position alone, substantially exceeded that amount. It was further part of the scheme that on January 30th, 2024, while testifying under oath at a meeting of creditors, oh no, so he went to bankruptcy court, you guys? He went to bankruptcy court? What? And he lied. Oh my goodness. Oh guys, I'm sorry. Thank you, Texas. You could just go in my description. Everything um is in my description box. All the ways to support your girl is in the description box. I'm sorry, I just pinned um where people could call in today, but I'll pin that later after we finish that. I appreciate y'all so much. Let me go ahead and put that in there. So wait a minute. He went to bank bank Tanya. He went to bankruptcy court. I didn't. I thought that like I don't know. I felt like he had just um started. I felt like he had just started the bankruptcy. I didn't know he went all the way through, and then they asked him all the questions, and then he lied. Oh no. Oh no. Mm -mm. That, that's not right uh-uh okay sorry guys i put the link in the chat y'all so sweet there you go if you want to support your girl there it is but you being here is enough let me tell you let me tell you you being here is enough and i'll also put in the chat how to keep in contact with your girl on um twitter and instagram instagram if you're you know, if you want to send me some over there. And then also the email is in there. Thank you so much. My burgundy. Yay. Okay. So I didn't know that. I didn't know he went to court and did and and did I read it right? Let's finish this because I think he went to Peter Francis Geraci or something, but we'll go back to that. It was further part of the scheme that on January 30th, 2024, while testifying under oath at a meeting of creditors. Freeman falsely represented that he was not an employee of Dalton and that he did not receive payment from Dalton, the indictment states. The following month, Freeman allegedly caused to his pay from Dalton to be directly deposited into a recently opened bank account that he had not disclosed to the creditors or the Chapter 7 trustee. Oh, no. The public is reminded that an indictment is not evidence of guilt. The defendant is presumed innocent and entitled to fair trial at which the government has the burden of prov proving guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. If convicted, the court must impose a reasonable sentence under federal statutes and the advisory U.S. sentencing, sentencing guideline. Wow. Wait a minute. Okay, so guys, I, 
I am confusion. Why would he go in there and do that? Why would he go in there and do that? He works for Dalton. He works for Dalton. We see him on TV. He's walking around. He's got the Dalton credit cards in his name. Why would he just not? I I, I know why, right? To save money, to not lose income, to be able. But I told y'all, I told y'all, I was sort of like, remember, you ever had somebody that said they were going to make you a check stub so you can get a car or something like that? Or they got, um, or they sit up there and give you a, um, or, or sit there. You guys, I was talking to my friend and she had told me, and I, I don't know, she might be in the chat. She has this amazing story on YouTube, actually. But it was, um, and shout out to her. I love her. Um, she had, it was in her live video. Someone tried to come at her with some BS, like looking her up like people do. And they had found out she had like this small little charge or whatever, but it was like from somebody making her an insurance card, which in the nineties, people used to make it. You're not supposed to do that. Please don't do that. In the nineties in the hood, people would make insurance cards back in the day. Please don't do that. Have insurance, you guys, please. Um, I don't even think you could do that like in a day, like the, that was a thing. But the thing was this, that charge followed her the, her whole life. So what I'm saying is I feel like Keith felt like he could run in there and lie and nobody's going to look into it. Well, maybe so if you weren't Keith Freeman, already the block is hot. You are Keith Freeman on every YouTube channel, every blog blocking the officers i mean blocking news news people violating first amendment rights violating the open meetings act you are keith freeman so why would you do something like this like i don't understand why they just don't rip the band-aid off and do what they got to do like i would just be like like what even with tiffany y'all i just drive drive by the t with the trustees and airdrop the records. I'd be like, bloop. And then I'd be on the plane to Hawaii for a week. And then I'll come back. I wouldn't even turn on my phone. Come back. What's y'all verdict? What y'all want to do? What you got to say? Here's your receipts. This is what's spent. This is what we have. And that's it. I don't get it. I don't get it. 1099 is what eBay sends you when you sell over a certain threshold. Yeah, I hate, I hate sometimes 1099. 1099 means he wasn't getting taxes taken out. That's another thing. He wasn't getting taxes taken out. Once Lori Lightfoot came, things step up. I agree. Being a 1099 still wouldn't save him when he was he's the owner of the company. He is still supposed to disclose all income. And why didn't his lawyer now? Is it his? It's not the lawyer fault because the lawyer only know what we bring him, right? Because I think the when you do bankruptcy, you have to do like a bankruptcy class or a worksheet or something like that, and they only know what you bring him. But if he didn't file taxes on that a hundred k, that they wouldn't know, right? So I think I'm I'm confused because I'm like this. Once okay. If you ever been like, like I think at Robbins, they were putting how he made like $25,000 one year. And now he's in Dalton making $100,000, right, this year. Um, when you're stuck in this situation and you got a better life, it's almost like, you. do you guys have friends or family members that be like, I owe taxes because I'm in a whole different tax bracket? But that's the, that's the life you live now. You, you're living this bigger life that you know, gives you more comfort, but yeah, Uncle Sam going to want his cut. Um, once he had this better life and accepted more jobs and getting more opportunities and more freedoms, freedoms, the boss of stuff, for lack of a better word, why would he risk all that? Is it because of Tiffany? Is it because of her? Uh-uh, Steve, nope. I'm out of here. You can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. And also, if you stay down here and you never fuck around, you'll never find out. Steve, leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. 
don't mess with the IRS. Who could tell us that? Who was that? Who did they get with the IRS? Was it um Wesley Snipes? Wasn't it Wesley Snipes? Oh my gosh. He was living above his means. Even lawyers refused to defend him because he does the yeah. I saw that they um they were like, nope. So wait, didn't he go to people? So look, y'all already know Delgado got this case. And and this is what I'm noticing Delgado is doing. Um, he's just dispersing the litigation. Um, and I I learned that word today, guys. I just learned that today. I don't even know if I'm doing it right. But um no. <laughs> I learned dispersing dispersing, stipend, all that. But um this guy right here, the Illinois elite person. Let's see. Let's go over to his page. Do, do, do. Let's take a little trip, shall we? Edgar County. Watch dogs. Here we are. Okay. Ooh, add, add. Okay. Um. What is going on? Just the fact your name got a salt in it is crazy. Um, so I want to go to this for you um lawsuit shout out to them they shouted out our channel thank you thank you thank you so this is the edgar city watchdogs um you going to jail don't mess with the fed i heard about he had a staffing age agency i heard he had a staffing agency so did he you know okay we're not going to act like we're oblivious to how people are like, you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. Oh, thank you, Texas Lean. Thank you for the three coffees. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for buying me a coffee. I appreciate it. That's that's amazing. So you got the, um, you got the three... You got the I scratch your back. That's been going on forever. Forever forever it's the way it's being done i guess i don't know like why is every i don't even know why this is happening so let's get this so the Edgar city wa county watchdogs they filed a freedom of information act lawsuit last year when thornton township and supervisor tiffany henyard failed to respond to requests for public records in the settlements Thornton Township paid $5,500 for our attorney fees. That's their attorney fees. And remember, that's why Thornton Township had the special board meeting. Not this board meeting. But remember, it had to be moved up a day because they had to get something approved through the board. And Chris Gonzalez voted no. Everybody else voted yes. And it was a settlement. This was a settlement. So actually, kudos to them. They did not ask for too much that's their lawyer fees because taxpayers had to pay we have to pay for this okay for them not answering a FOIA request the taxpayers have to pay in the settlement thornton township paid five thousand five hundred for our attorney fees if henyard and the township would have simply provided the requested records it would have cost them and the taxpayers nothing isn't that crazy um, Lovey and Lovey represented us in the suit and we received the requested records as part of the settlement. There are several more unanswered requests for public records, which we're contemplating filing suit over. Y'all better answer those for your requests. For Henry to continually tell the public she will show receipts, her actions tells us otherwise, right? So this was the agreement. And this is what I want to tell you guys. So after the agreement, look who don't want to show signatures. What's her name? John Craft. Cynthia Granfield, right? Let's go on over to um, Thanks for being here, y'all. Hit the like button, please. Hit the like button. Let's go on over to Delgado, and then we're going to get up out of here. Y'all know I keep on saying it. I'm sorry. Can I be recognized, man? You want to be long-winded? <laughs> I'm just asking. 
Okay, so we're over here at the Delgado Law Firm. And um, I just want to, we already seen a couple of the attorneys. Now we see Michael Delgado, he be right up there, senior partner, right? Then we see Cynthia, who's a partner. This is Cynthia right here um, with the Bob. Cynthia is the one that represented for the Edgar City Watchdog trial. This is Cynthia right here. Um, so she's there, she's a partner. Now let's find Rude Miss Tiffany. Rude Miss Tiffany. This is Tiffany Nelson right here. And she was the one that was sitting next to, uh, she was representing them at the municipal thing. Is she, she's not a partner. That's what I was wondering if Cynthia, I mean, if Tiffany was a partner yet, because I was like, she was doing too much that was against what she should have done. Like she wouldn't answer questions. She wouldn't do anything at the Thornton Township meeting, but keep on walking on over to Stephanie and telling her what she wasn't doing right. But she would not even identify herself. So those three lawyers have been in rotation. They have been in rotation with the Delgado Law Firm bringing money in. I'm sure it's more. Okay. Represent Tiffany, not the township. You're absolutely municipality. I love that name. <laughs> Notice how the black man always the first to go, especially nowadays. Henry should have been locked up. Why are they dragging their feet when it comes to her? They they um have to. I got to get in a sip of water. They have to break down everybody around her, break them on down to the lowest common denominator. So they're collecting money too. So Delgado is chasing. Okay, if Dalton is talking about they got an invoice for two years for $950,000, imagine what Thornton Township invoices. And then when we went to that board meeting, the uh, special board meeting, the secret squirrel meeting, he had two representatives there. Delgado had uh, two representatives that on the side. He They weren't doing nothing, but they were just note taking because we thought they were news people. But allegedly, they were de working for, maybe they were, um, what do you call them? Paralegals. But we saw one of the Delgado law firms, I'm going to say representative, allegedly. Because I ain't got it, Delgado. I just don't got it. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's crazy. Low-hanging fruit. Will Keith, Keith sing like a canary? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I cannot wait to hear Tiff spin on this. It would be ep epic. It's the trustees hiring Lori Lightfoot that put fire under the Fed's feet. Yep. Do we know what who Tiffany and Keith lawyers are? We do not. Not yet. Um, that, not that I've seen, but I'm I'm sure somebody from Delgado. They got to connect the dots. While we're saying that, let's let's be nosy and see what Jedediah has to say. One second, guys. I just want to see what he has to say over there. We already know we're not gonna get nothing from Lori because Lori says she was gonna leave comment until the end. But I'm very interested in what. Let's see. Let's see if we got Jedediah and Cairo what they have to say. Ooh, okay. Okay, he had a Keith Freeman indicted. He got Cairo on his shoulder. Let's check in. You know, we always, Jedediah, let me tell you, he always shocks us when we're getting ready to say something. We, we, we're never prepared. I didn't see this video. Hit the thumbs up. <laughs> I, forgive me for I know not what I do. <laughs> thank you texas lean you know tip you you are a great find i'm glad long island audit brought me here thank you i really really appreciate y'all the strategy to take tiffany down is to bring in those that surround her first because then they could probably get one of all of them to turn on tiffany yeah they're and they're going to like who wants to go down I can see this. Freeman was making good, honest money, but he got greedy because he realized Tiffany Henry was dumb. Let me tell you something. I think Delgado, too. Delgado slid right in. I'm sorry. I'm going I'm to get off him because he do not need to sue me, allegedly. I feel like he just slid in there. Like, these people just throwing money. 
they throwing money. It don't get no easier. A small municipality like this, I actually re respect Bert Odelson. At first, I was so mad at him. Like, why are you losing all these cases? But I respect him trying to calm down and not make everything a lawsuit and build the taxpayers. I didn't see it from that perspective. I'm learning along the way, you guys, as well with this. All right, y'all. I want to say we never know we're going to get with Jedediah. Let's just go. Hey, Jedediah. Hey, Jedediah. How you doing? This is your boy, Jedediah, a.k.a. Black. And I'm going to give you guys one chance to a second to come in. I know I was just on live, but me and my team decided that we would go over this indictment in real time with you because I think that that's what I'm going to have to start doing. I don't know how to put documents on the screen just yet. We're trying to get better production, but I want to figure out exactly what is in the case that has been made against Keith Freeman. And we want to make sure that if we need to, that we don't, that we add other information that may have possibly been missed if that is the case. So you guys, are you ready? Y'all put, I'm ready in the comments, share the live. Let's go over the actual indictment together. I have not read it yet. I promise you, I don't know what it says. Um, so we're going to look at it together. I'm just waiting on y'all to say, say, Jedi, I'm ready. Let me know that y'all can hear me. And let me know that y'all paying attention. And let me know that y'all ready to share this live. Come on, let's go. I need, I'm ready. I'm ready, Jedediah. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, there go one, so I know you can hear me. Put in the comments, I'm ready. I'm ready. Those of you that are just coming in, please share the live. We're going to go over this indictment of Keith Freeman together, okay? I didn't do it on the last live. We literally, once I got out, they was like, yeah, let's just go over it with the public. This is the people's fight. This is the people's victory. This is the people's moment. It's not a glorying in no man's demise. But they've been warned. So guess what? They got to face the music. They got to deal with it. And we also understand that people have the presumption of innocence until proven guilty. Child, please. Here we go. All right, let me put on me some good reading music. <laughs> okay, here we go, y'all. Let's look at Keith Freeman's indictment together. Tell me if you can see it. Okay, can y'all see it? Okay, if you can see it, I'm gonna begin to read it. It says the United States of America the United States of America versus Keith Douglas Freeman. The special November 2023 grand jury charges at the time of this indictment. That Keith Freeman resides in Orland Park. Keith Freeman generated income from various sources, including in January 2022 through in or around April 2024 as the village administrator of Dalton an annual salary of $100,000. He was the municipal, municipality's manager, Thornton Township, with an annual salary of approximately $70,000. $170,000 right there. In and around November 2017, through in or around April 2021, Freeman was the village administrator for the village of Robbins with his salary set by village ordinance from the least in or around December 2021 through in or around 2020, January 2022, Freeman received approximately $24,500 in consulting fees from a business located in Northfield, Illinois that financed the lease purchase of firefighting and other equipment by municipalities and government organizations. Freeman was affiliated with multiple companies, including Freeman, who was the sole owner of a government, government staffing advisors, which he incorporated on July 12, 2023. Freeman was an owner of Keith 
Freeman LLC, doing business as Duda's Novelty Store. Freeman was an officer of CBPI, Incorporated doing business as CBPI Duda's. Wait a minute. Okay, I don't mean to cut this off. I'm like, we read this already. Keith Freeman Print Company makes Dalton signs as well. Oh, wow. Hey, Lucille. Hey, isn't it? <laughs> I put Jedediah's Jedediah link in the chat. Yeah, that's Cairo. He said it was Cairo with a K the other day. I didn't know that. By Freeman's spouse. Freeman had control and signature authority over multiple bank accounts, including the Freeman, including the following Freeman, the sole account holder of the signature JP Morgan Chase account 8642. Freeman was the sole account holder for signatory of Bank of Montreal, BMO, account 5818. Freeman controlled and was sole administrator for Coastal Community Bank account 838335 and open account in the name of government staff and advisors. The proceedings of his bankruptcy are the next seven and 11. He provided individuals who were unable to pay their debts with an opportunity to obtain fresh financial start through the discharge of pre-existing debts. In chapter seven, the bankruptcy is basically explaining what bankruptcy he went after and what they do. Let's go down. We don't have to read all of that. Keith Freeman, the defendant herein devised and intended to devise a scheme to defraud and for the purposes of ex executing and concealing the scheme and attempt attempting to do so, filed and to cause to be filed documents in a bankruptcy case under Title 11 of the Illinois, the United States Code. It was part of the scheme that for purposes of fraudulently staying debt collection actions and fraudulently obtaining the discharge of his debt, the freedom attempted to and did defraud his creditors and the chapter seven trustee by taking steps to conceal his assets and sources of income prior to filing a bankruptcy petition. And then filed the bankruptcy petition, making false statements and providing false documents during the course of the bank bankruptcy, the case that was designed and intended to conceal Freeman's actual financial circumstances and history. Conceal whether Freeman had disclosed assets consistent with his income, fraudulently prevent creditors and the Chapter 7 trustees from determining whether Freeman had property, properly filed the 7 bankruptcy protection, and fraudulently prevent creditors from the Chapter 7 trustees from objecting to the discharge of Freeman's debt or moving to dismiss, moving to dismiss the case. It is further part of the scheme that on July 12, 2023, Freeman created government staffing advisors. And on July 23rd, 2023, opened the bank account with a coastal community bank in an 8335 in the name of government staffing advisors. It was further part of a scheme beginning in or around July 2023 for the purposes of concealing his income and personal trans financial transactions from his creditors that Freeman stopped using BMO account 5818. Freeman's name and transitioning his bank account to Coastal Bank, Coastal Community Bank account 8335 in the name of government staffing advisors. It was part of a scheme in January 3rd, 2023, that Freeman filed bankruptcy with the United States Bankruptcy Court in the Northern District of Illinois, initiating a Chapter 7 bankruptcy in Keith Douglas Freeman number right there in the Freeman bankruptcy case. It is further part of a scheme that on January 3rd, filed the bankruptcy case under the penalty of perjury that continued, and he continued to materially provide false statements and material. It is further part of a scheme that on January 3rd, 2024, that Freeman filed Schedule A and B, basically outlining his claims. Freeman falsely re represented that his only employment was the municipality, municipality manager of Thornton Township when he knew that he was also the village administrator of Dalton. He said that his monthly income was approximately 7000 but he knew that his monthly income of both the manager as manager of Thornton Township and village administrator was approximately 15000 
He said he only made 7,000 when he was making 15,000. It is part of a scheme. Y'all, I got a question. Y'all, skip the money. It's power in the jobs, right? Can you do you know how many people need a job? And he had two jobs making fifteen thousand a month. Whoa. Whoa. He represented that his monthly net income was $94.72 when he was actually making 94 when the defendant knew that the net income was substantially in excess of that amount. Freeman falsely reported that in the calendar year of 2023 that his gross was $99,647 when he knew that his gross income with his employment was $195,000. Further outlining the discrepancy of what he filed versus what was true. While employed, here goes something that I think is very interesting right here. While employed as the village administrator of the village of Robbins, Illinois, he received approximately $90,000 in access of his authorized salary and that the village of Robbins has a claim against Freeman related to those funds. And that is going to be the federal indictment that is against Keith Freeman. What happened? What happened to that Tiffany Henry cares $10,000? Because you didn't spend on the t-shirts because that was on the township credit cards, right? What happened to that? That's a good question. That's a good question. At reading it with my voice, but I'm going to tell y'all one of the or two of the things that I read that was pretty explosive. That he grossly underreported his pay. But you mean to tell me that Keith Freeman, who has obviously no shame, stole $90,000, $90,396 to be exact according to this allegation. He stole $90,000 from one of America's poorest suburbs. And I just learned that with you watching or reading this file. So how can I have any, how can I feel bad for a man who will enrich himself? What? $90,000 and to the people of the village of Robbins. And I am not, I was already tipped off about Robbins, but we never went and even looked. That's why that stood out to me because we were literally just tipped off about Robbins not too long ago. So what does that tell us? If he stole $90,000 from one of America's poorest suburbs, if he grossly underrepresented his own personal finances then we can only imagine what kind of havoc they didn't wreck on the income and the finances of the village of Dalton and Thornton Township this would further give us cause to pursue and to fight for the records to be released because we heard that it was somewhere to the tune of $7 million as a deficit for Dalton. And here it goes, the lawmakers of Illinois was preparing to give this administration $15 million more dollars. What? What? 
all of these companies, all of this fraternizing and nepotism, they're enriching themselves and their friends. And they got senior citizens and women identifying with being a black woman duped because y'all thinking they doing something oh so amazing because y'all got Easter egg hunts and free washing machines and dryers in a bingo night. And y'all got somebody that's doing or putting up a skating rink. That is how government tricks us so easily. Giving y'all some bottles of water and they getting hundreds of thousands of dollars right in your face. And you y'all, if you've been with me since the beginning, hit the one when I started talking about this. Jedediah, you ain't never lied. You ain't never lied. Cairo is my witness. Cairo's a little monkey behind his head. <laughs> um, when I first started, it was so many of y'all telling me. I was like, but look at the flashing lights. Look how nice the lights look. Look at the sparkly skating ring. And it wasn't until I started to see. <laughs> thank you. It wasn't until I started to see the breakdown. What, what, okay, a Tahoe for $150,000. And I think it was Della that said that. She's like, you can't even get finance for $55,000. What is this? When I start to see the breakdown, and thanks for being here since the beginning, y'all was like, uh-uh. But those, just as, because we didn't have all that, and now we got all that, I was so excited. And then it seemed like Jason House was being a big mean, meanie sitting up there saying, no, I'm taking I'm taking Aurelio's pizza off the warrant list. And I'm like, why? You got to feed the people in the jail. You got to feed them Aurelio's pizza. They need Cooper's honk. You know, I was just oblivious, oblivious. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, y'all. But I was like, and now he's right. That's how they going door to door. That was my hope. That's why she got my vote. When I saw her out there helping the people, now don't come to my door. I do not like people coming to my door. I, I swear, I hate that. I hate that. I won't vote for you just if you come to my door. Like you need to put a phone call in first. I don't like. My bell ring, I look at the camera and I go back to sleep. That's it. I look at the camera. If it's not, Am even if it's Amazon, put my package on the porch. But do anybody else do that? If your door, if somebody knock on your door, you just look at your ring camera and then you be like, oh, okay, and just lay back down. You don't even have to walk to the door anymore. I be like, mm -mm. they try to get me a watchtower. I can go right back to sleep. But he's so right. We were looking at all, that's how it's the smoke and mirrors. I remember Brittany Norwood saying that smoke and mirrors and that's what it is we thought the trustees didn't want us to have nothing and we thought that tiffany was doing something for the community and my the proof is in the pudding the proof is in the pudding isn't it i wish more residents watch these coverage for enlightenment yeah it's dangerous to go to the door now i don't go to no door <laughs> Thank you. That I have felt the most connected and valued. That's it. That's all. Like I don't like stuff like that. Like, um, no, no. Don't sit over there and give me the smoke and mirrors. You gave me a case of water, and then now you took nine hundred thousand dollars out the bank account for Delgado. Make it make sense. Let's hear what else Jedediah have to say. <laughs> Thank you. And if you got something to say, the StreamYard link is in the chat. Y'all don't even need to wait for me with Hell Week. You need to be held every single day. I wish I was a taxpayer, specifically though. They will be sick of me because I'll be at that village hall every damn day. How is it that this man has no, there is no, there is no level of, there is no level that they won't go. This is insult to injury. Wow. You just read it right with me in real time. This is absolutely deplorable. And I'm going to say it again. We're going to get prepared for hell week. And I feel like in myself, this man literally there's a there's breadcrumbs that literally go back to every place he's ever been. 
Every place he's been, there's a breadcrumb of this same behavior, the Lori effect. That's why right, Sharon. And that's what people, y'all put it on there, the Lori effect. I'm gonna start putting that in all of my videos, the Lori effect. We got a federal lawsuit that revealed the name of Andrew Holmes as the one accused of sexually assaulting an employee. And now we have a federal indictment that have now been pushed through. Now that we have a former federal prosecutor fighting for the people of Dalton with all of us federal activists. <laughs> <laughs> that last thing just takes me out every time. So here it goes. Every video, I got to ask somebody a question. And here is my question to my good friend and my political hero. Keith Price, is this enough? Whoa, so Keith Price, he brought him up. I cannot wait to hear. You know, I feel some kind of way about Keith Price. I'm going to be honest on this YouTube stream. He's scary to me. I saw what he allegedly posted under Miss Sherry Britton's uh, Facebook. We'll get to that on another day. Shout out to her. He's scary to me. But let me say this, and it's not. I'm not taking up for him or Keith, Keith Price or Keith Freeman. I'm not taking up for anybody. I'm not taking I'm not even talk, taking up for the people that was on her personal detail making 303 hours of overtime, right? Y'all, if this is an opportunity to feed your family and you like, I think a lot of people thought, oh, I, I'm just getting the money. It's not on me. As long as I stand at the board meetings, that's it. Who was I listening to? Was it Shay from Late Night Crew? You guys, I don't know. Was it Shay? Uh, I don't, I think it was Shay. I, no, it might've been Hannibal. I'm sorry. I absorb all this information, you guys. So forgive me. But somebody said on their channel, it could have been Shawan because I, I love her too. Um, someone said, you know how the people rallied at the city of Harvey, I mean, city of Homewood, Flossmore, when they were getting ready to get rid of their police chief and everybody ran over there. It's like, no, you're not getting them. They ran because of his character. His character was so good. Everybody ran to his aid, even Kim Fox. They like, no, you can't fire this chief. Nobody's standing up for Tiffany Henyard and saying anything but one person. That I have felt the most connected and valued. And it's always a family member. Like at the board meeting at Thornton Town, shit, her, shit, stop, I'm sorry, slip. Her uncle, here, her aunt. It's never just, or you get somebody really aggressive like Michael Smith or T.O. Hardiman cursing and yelling. This time, Keith Price was as gentle, but by the time Keith Price got up there, everybody was ready to go. But this is interesting. Like, y'all, okay. I have a heart because I know what it is to lose. I know what it is to lose and not be able to get on track and have to, I know what it is to be at the bottom. I do. Um, so I, that's what I'm just thinking about if I'm at the bottom and I get this opportunity to make six figures and I'm like this defunct politician and I get the opportunity to change my life around. And I got the pressure on my shoulders from this woman that's going to say, you got to stand up for me. Or you gonna lose your money, and now you see it ain't. It's not no. You guys, I don't know, but if stuff gets to going the way it's going, it's no way for. It's no way for. What am I trying to say, guys? It's no way for reconciliation. Okay, if, if this stuff is swept under the rug, I think Tiffany Henry had a chance of winning Mayor Dalton again because everybody feel like they can win, right? But if it's not swept under the rug, now she doesn't have a chance to win, right? So, y'all, let's listen back to Judge. I'm just like, you're going to lose. Okay, if she would have won, Keith Price would have had a job at the food pantry for another four years. You know what I mean? 
Now I think that he's humbling and seeing that's probably not going to happen. He knows what he's saying is not right. He knows what he's saying is not right. Keith Freeman knows what he's doing is not right. I think it was more of everybody else is dumb and we slick enough to let it pass. What y'all think? What say you? I think it's we slick enough. Everybody's stupid. They don't know their rights. They don't know this. And things are starting to change. A lot of people didn't even know what a FOIA request was. I know Dalton ain't never in the history of Dalton seen that many FOIA requests or Thornton Township. This is bananas. And I, like I said, I don't take Keith Freeman. What he got going on is bogus because his kids and his wife is affected. I always think about that. Like you make these decisions and you affect everybody else. Tiffany daughter's affected. Uh, people, families are affected. You, you think it's all good and you could cover it, but you're affected. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and hit the play. Let's hit the play. It's, this is really sad. It's really sad. You know what makes it sad, Francine? It could have been so easily a road to the White House. The Dream Team could have easily went to Thornton Township State Senate. Like, the only publicity Dalton got was because of negativity. It could have been public publicity for positive things. And now Dalton is known as a terror. It's crazy. All right, let's get back to Jedediah. Sorry, y'all. And I'm not trying to embarrass you or diminish you. Now, here I am as a young man. Then when I first started paying attention to politics, I saw you going hard in the paint for what was right. Now, granted, it's an indictment. Granted, it's a charge. These are charges. But is it enough? Is this enough to stop you from standing proxy and providing cover for this administration? Oh, he said Keith Price accidentally. I guess he meant Keith Freeman. My bad. I, I, I did all that for no reason. I was talking that long for no reason. Can I be recognized, Mayor? You want to be long-winded? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just acting. All right, guys. Enough to now make you question if these people who you are riding so hard for is worth you being in the way or in the crosshairs of things that are directed to them. Keith Price, is this enough? Because I said in a meeting not too long ago, knowing about pretty much all of this. And I had to stand on the opposite side of you. We've even made lighthearted banter against each other, but it pained my heart to watch you in defense. So that's my question. Keith Price, is this enough? Maybe not for you to turn on them, but at least make you turn down the noise. They don't deserve you unless the real heartbreak in this is going to be mine. I don't want to find out that you are actually a part of any of this. Save your reputation. Save your credibility. Save your future. Save my perception of somebody who I looked up to. Keith Price. Is it enough? Okay, I was confusion. So he did mean Keith Price, but he was referencing Keith Freeman. Thank you, Mara. Thank you. Because I'm like, wait a minute, Mara. Thank you. I was like, he is talking about, okay, okay. I was confusion. I was confusion. Thank you. Hey, Hannibal, Keith Price is already too far gone. Yeah. Oh, go back to Hannibal's interview. Okay, going back. Thank you. Can't save him. Thank you, Mara. Thank you. Yeah, I got to finish these. I'm sitting here like, what? But yeah, he's too far gone. Can't save Keith Price. You know, it's sad. It's sad to see this, y'all. 
Okay, that was the end of Jedediah and Cairo. Um, okay, so this is my question. All these lawsuits, when will the lawsuits come to the end? Like Miss Sandra, stuff like that. Like this could go on for years. And and this is the thing. When Andrew Holmes decide, because I don't know why it's a decision for him to step down, Tiffany Henry could appoint someone in his slot that's even worse. Is it better that Andrew Holmes is just missing? You know what I mean? It, the fact that he's just missing, is that better? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Grass Guy. Thank you so much for the $5 cash app. Thank you. Um, do, is it enough now that if he, okay, so if she appoints somebody, she's going to appoint somebody. To, like, could Keith Price be on the board, like get a Dalton address and be on the board of trustees for the next year, the rest of Andrew Holmes' term? It's like, it's the devil you know better than the devil you don't. It's like freaking crazy. I said, hell, <laughs> yeah, Holmes is a predator. I agree with that, um, but I'm saying, you know, she can appoint, when he stepped down, she can appoint someone else to his seat, okay? Now, if, let's say she's gone away and she stepped down, then the next trustee in line, I would assume, would be Jason House, and Jason House can appoint, um, Jason House can appoint someone, right, um, as a trustee. And then basically the dream team is back together. They have alleged that Holmes had another victim and she's under, I saw that, uh, I saw that on Jedediah page. He said a alleged victim may be 17. Isn't that crazy? I don't know. In my opinion, they should probably choose someone without a criminal record. I mean, that might be a wise idea given how this has been going. Thank you, Mara. How can he just, okay, this one. You don't mess with bankruptcy. Uh, she would probably <laughs> sit dots for trustee. He's in Riverdale, but yeah. Yep, it could be worse. We could get somebody worse. They. I think we need to just, I, I don't know. Now I'm I'm biased with the Dalton trustees. I sort of you know I fan girl. This is how I look at Brittany Norwood every time I see her, y'all. Y'all already know how I do. Every time I see Brittany Norwood, this me. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yeah, my allegiance is yours, Brittany Norwood. <laughs> but this is my thing. Um. I'm biased when it comes to the Dalton trustees because I feel like they haven't had a chance. But Thornton Township trustees, you got to go. Every last one of the Thornton Township, Peppy on up. Peppy, you too. Peppy, Darlene, Chris, uh, Carmen. It's another one. Uh, all y'all. All the Dalton, I think that's it. Uh, Jerry, he been missing. Jerry Jones. All y'all got to go. All y'all got to go. All the Thornton Township trustees. I don't want to see not Nan. And I said Nan. I don't want to see not Nan one of y'all on that board. You're spineless. You're weak. Okay? That's it. Every trustee up there. Right, asking another employee who went on that trip. You went down to Springfield, and what were you hoping to do you in Springfield? You need to ask the people that handle that. I'm not the one to handle that. I was just riding the bike. We need more. Every one of y'all are terrible. Every one of you. So Thornton Township, we definitely got a clean house. Now, I'm sort of going to say we probably can give the 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 trustees and Dalton a chance because I feel like they've been kind of blocked. Kind of blocked, and then it's and then it's another part of me like I don't even want them to have a chance, chance because everybody gonna be looking to them like why this isn't fixed? What's happening here? You need to fix this right away, and they're not gonna be able to fix that overnight. You know what I mean? It's gonna take a long time to fix it. Okay, before I leave, 
I cannot wait. Let me finish. You guys, make sure you check out Hannibal is Hungry. I did watch. Was that the was that the video with Keith Price and Keith? Was that uh, the Hangers Goons video? I did watch that one. Is it some more? Yeah, some of the trustees been ten toes down. Yeah, in Dalton, like Trustee Kiana Belcher been ten toes down for sure. Um, but I don't think none of the Dalton trust. I don't think none of the Thornton Township trustees have been instrumental in anything for the public. I don't think not one Thornton Township trustee cares. They just care about their job. Dawn trustees, they've been fighting. They've been standing in the, in the wind and rain with us. They've been doing it all. Dawn is only 20,000 people. How many qualified people do they have? I think a lot. You know, you'll be surprised. Dalton is full of surprise, surprising prizes. Like, it's a lot of good people in Dalton. Okay, let me play this, y'all. Woo! Jedediah Brown, shout out to him. I think it's a Lori effect, and I think Jedediah, he he got the, he getting to the rooter, to the tutor. He getting down and dirty. He getting down and dirty in the mud. And when he get down and dirty in the mud, that makes everybody squeam. <laughs> everybody scrambling. Because why were we doing the, the Dalton family feud with Jedediah yesterday? We were so mad when we started. Then at the end, we started playing like, no, are we answering these questions? What is happening? I think Lori might get to the bottom. You know, I wonder if Lori could get to some of those uh, corruption, like the... The murders that happened in Dalton, like Alexis Wilson, justice for Alexis Wilson. Like, I wonder if Lori can get into that as well. Because if Lori's making moves like this, and I know Jedediah and Lori can't team up, but if it's moves like this being made behind the scenes, this is quite interesting. Let's watch this. A report today, a top aide to Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard has been indicted for bankruptcy fraud. It comes amid ongoing questions about Henyard's spending and leadership. And legal experts say it could be the first sign that the feds are trying to get people to share what they know about potential government corruption in the South suburbs. Let's be smarter than that. This is, this is not just the price is right. Despite sitting next to Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard at countless meetings, the feds allege Keith Freeman not only failed to report his income from the village, he actively lied about it. Freeman is Henyard's top aide in both Dalton and Thornton Township. As part of a personal bankruptcy case, he was required to report his earnings. But this indictment on one count of bankruptcy fraud says Freeman falsely stated he only worked for the township and made just over $99,000 last year. Prosecutors say he tried to hide his Dalton earnings via a pass-through company, which brought his income to $195,000 last year. They further allege the village of Robbins has a claim against Freeman for more than $90,000 he took without authorization from a previous post he held as village administrator there. This is loan coming. If a person can lie on their own financials, what do you think they're doing for the village? Nobody is untouchable. That's what I really... I want to say nobody is untouchable. So if this is just uh, the first domino to all of them falling, let it happen. Cool. Hey, Bradley. How you feeling? Freeman is a key player in our reporting on Tiffany Henyard because of how many roles he plays for her. In addition to the Dalton and Township jobs, Freeman also, for a time, was the registered agent of the Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation. But there's no foundation in the state of Illinois moving like we move and shaking room like we go right to the right. Right. While Henyard's namesake charity claims to help cancer patients, WGN Investigates has reported it received most of its early money from taxpayers and has failed to file required paperwork showing how it spends its money. How come you don't respond to my emails? Ah, uh, there you go. There you go. Huh? There you go. That's all you're getting from me. That's all you're getting from me today. How come the charity hasn't filed uh, its financial disclosures about how money was spent? How would I know that? That's a good question, though. 
For months, WGN Investigates has reported on questionable conduct on Henyard's watch, including unexplained travel, including first-class airfare and fine dining on the taxpayer's dime. Credit card statements show Freeman was on many of the trips, including one to Las Vegas, where another Henyard aide now claims a Dalton trustee sexually assaulted her. Others accuse Henyard of using Freeman and other government employees to retaliate against her opponents. Court watchers say the feds could use the bankruptcy charge against Freeman to get him to cooperate in other investigations. When the feds are looking at a larger scheme or relationship, oftentimes what they have to do is go for people who are below or the lower part of the food chain, get them for something, charge them with something, because that's the leverage they need to be able to sit down with that person and say, now, if you help us, life might be good for you. If you don't help us, you're in a lot of trouble. Now, what do you want to do? So I said one down, about 25 more to go. No comment this afternoon from Keith Freeman. His boss, Tiffany Henyard, said through a spokesperson. What battery stubs be getting them glasses from? She be too stylish for me. She got like little cinnamon roll glasses now. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Okay. So uh, just like I said, low hanging fruit. You right, Nikki. So let's go to what Jedediah just posted just now with, we, while we were live. Just want to share this. Make sure I put Jedediah's, um, let me put it in here again. He's on Facebook, Jedediah Brown. He definitely needs to come over to YouTube, but I'm not sure what Jedediah do would be YouTube. <laughs> YouTube, they'll be reporting his page. He probably feel like it's not even um, worth coming to YouTube. Let's go on. Shout out to Jedediah Brown. Let's go over here, take a look. So this is what he posted. He said, he has, he says, I'm waiting to see if I'll be hit with another restraining order. Oh, so he got one. I know he got one from the officer. Did he got did he get one from Andrew Holmes? Now that Goofy A. Andrew and Ditsy A. Helen was at the courthouse today, she's standing by her man, baby. Y'all can't take S without me knowing it. Y'all weak and time is ticking. You know, people got eyes everywhere. This somebody in the bush is taking pictures. Whoa, this is crazy. Helen, girl, run, girl. Helen, you in danger, girl. You in danger, girl. Get on out of there. Can you imagine? My mom used to say, my mom used to say, this is totally off top. top. Oh, and this is the other one. Another alleged victim of Andrew Holmes just sur surfaced. She's 17. So that's alleged. Alleged, guys, we have to say that. So you guys, my mom used to say, don't be a, a back pew girlfriend. Did anybody, am I, t am I showing my age if I say, don't be a back pew girlfriend? You know what that means? If you know what that means, let me know. Helen. Helen, don't be, I don't even know you. I don't know what type of person you are. You could be really a cool person. Don't be a back pew girlfriend. That means, because that means I'm probably everybody, I'm probably older than everybody in this chat. Okay. So that means when you your boyfriend die or something like that, allegedly, I'm knocking on wood. If <laughs> something happens to your, your man, you have to sit in the back pew at the funeral. You can't sit in the front row because you're just a girlfriend. And you walking in the courthouse with Andrew for what? For what? Andrew could file his own. He's an advocate. He can go to the courthouse by himself and file. It, the, Lisa Lee said, yep, side piece. <laughs> that means you went to dinner on February 13th instead of February 14th. Okay? Helen, don't be a back pew girlfriend. He could, he's an advocate. He could go in there and fill out his own paperwork. You do not need to be walking in Markham Courthouse for Andrew Holmes. I'm sorry. Just saying what it was. So, you guys, I'm going to tell you a quick story. So, um, just just a real quick story. Real, 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 real quick. Ain't nobody going to prove that. Andrew. 
Okay, so um, my mom, I learned this as a little girl. So one day, um, my, we had this, my mom's cousin. You ever had a cousin that was your family member? And they um, are, they're older, but you call them auntie. You ever had an old cousin, but that you thought they was your aunt, but they weren't? Let me know. So it was my mom's cousin. And she was living with her husband for like 802 years, right? So all of a sudden he dies. So my mom was a person like, you know, she she was not shy. So she would be like, okay, you know, don't don't ask her to lie for you. She wasn't that type of person. She was just straight to the point. So don't be like, like my mom was like, if the police come, she right here. <laughs> she <laughs> yeah, sure. So the police have to do it for you, Burgundy. There they are. They got they serving you. <laughs> that was the type of person my mom was. I like, don't you say what what uh Doc or say, say something, do some, do some. If you see something, say something. Stranger danger. That was my mom. So, but she was just a really cool lady. So her cousin came. She was with this man for 102 years. They lived together. Everything. This makes me think of Helen. Helen, this story is for you. So the man died after their 803rd year wedding anniversary, right? So the funeral come. So my mom's like, oh, we're, we're riding in the um, limo. You know how people get the limo for the funeral. So my mom's like, we're riding in the limo, right? Okay. And I got to put Helen's photo back up here for this. This is specifically for you, Helen. I'm glad you had a mask on because I just want to talk to you. So my mom was like, wait, we, we riding in the limo together, right? You know? That's what's happening. We all gonna ride together, right? And so she was like, no, I don't feel like riding in the limo. Um, we're just gonna drive to, we're gonna catch a cab to the funeral. And my mom was like, wait a minute, the family limo not coming to get us? So they get to the, they get to the um funeral home. The limo is outside. So my mom, like I said, she's matter of fact, she's not, so she gets to walk into the front row. And then my mom's cousin, her cousin's like, uh-uh, let's sit back here. And my mom was like, wow, we at your man funeral, we at your husband funeral. Y'all, you already know, I ain't got to tell y'all what happened. I ain't got to tell y'all what happened. She was sitting in the back row, in the back row. Didn't go to the repast. Didn't do nothing, sitting in that back row, looking silly. Who was in the front row? The man wife. She was a girlfriend for 803 years. After the funeral, the wife came, took the house. Y'all already know, right? Y'all already know, right? Hey, Fred, say bye, bye. Who <laughs> The wife was so chill in the front. She took the house. Yeah, you was his girlfriend. She took the man body. She didn't even let my mom cousin have, she couldn't even walk and view the body. She was with this man all her adult life, died. The lady came, this my house. I want all the clothes in here. I want the lunch meat out the refrigerator. I want everything. Trina said, <laughs> they were getting, they wanted everything. And that lady, do you know, she had to pack up. I think that I'm, I'm being, I'm exaggerating, but they were together maybe like, they were well in age. So they were together maybe 40 years. She had to pack up her entire house and go live in the senior center. Well, we, we call it the single, single woman. We call it like the lonely man hotel, like an efficiency. She had to go get her. It wasn't even a senior center. She had to go get her an efficiency. That lady took everything from the Ruta to the Tula. Helen. Helen. Uh -uh. Let me let me put share the screen. Andrew Holmes is a community activist. He worked with the FBI and everything else. Girl, he can file his own pro se paperwork at Markham Courthouse. You do not have to be doing it. 
Rooms about she sure did. She sure did. And look, the lady was so cool. She took the man body. She like, you can't even have the ashes. You can't have the ashes. And nobody knew he was married for all them years. And she was just a girlfriend. Andrew Holmes. Helen do not need to be nobody girlfriend. If you gonna take her through this. Well then I well maybe I'm wrong because y'all if he get if he if he do got a lawsuit they take her money. My my story, my story is ended. I'm sorry, Helen, you're doing the right thing. Continue. You can see the more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. And also, if you stay down here and you never fuck around, you'll never find out. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm sorry, Helen, because I don't know your business. And Benefit. Anna Clark says, hi, Trina. We're so proud of you at the meeting. Trina, you did a great speech at the meeting. I think you almost broke Tiffany. Not in a bad way, where she, was, where she almost wanted to be like, she needed a hug. I think you almost broke her to the point she needed a hug. Yep. So y'all don't be no back pew girlfriend. Don't be no back pew girlfriend sitting over there a thousand years. You together for a thousand years. And then you got to pack up and leave your home. It's a ribbon in the sky for our love. And I got to leave my house because the wife then took it. And she was so cool. With, so what, by the time, <laughs> now this was back in the day. So by the time my mom got back, her cousin was like, I got to pack up. Because the lady was like, uh-uh, you, you're not invited to the repast, but let me holler at you. Yeah, you see, you didn't even get your name on that house. You know, your life your life insurance ain't valid. Um, Go ahead, I'll let you keep one of his ties. You can sleep with a tie at night. But other than that, you got to get up out of my house. No, no nothing. Okay, so Helen, don't be running around with Andrew Holmes. He know how to fill out his own stuff. Same here with my cousin. They were together 49 years and he was married. What? What? 1,000 years together. <laughs> well, we can say the same thing allegedly with uh, the super mayor, right? Like, allegedly, I don't know her relationship, but if what they say are true, like uh, she's messing with a married man, I'm just saying this. I don't know the relationships. I don't know the ins and outs. It could be the same thing. You get nothing. You get nothing. You just sitting there. You a girlfriend. You a girlfriend. You just sitting there. You get nothing. And same for him. Lord forbid something happened to her, her. You know, it's just weird. It's weird. My mama would not have went. My mama was so confused. She's like, where is the limo? <laughs> what are we wearing? <laughs> Who got the body? She had her, ch her church's chicken ready. She had brought the chicken to the fume and nothing. Just a mess. Just a mess. <laughs> you get nothing. Put a ring on it. Yeah, you walk. I wish I would walk into now. Now, mind you, let's look at this picture one more time. I'm proud of Helen because didn't Helen walk in there? Did did I lose it? Oh yeah, I closed it. I'm sorry, guys. Helen had a mask on, and Andrew Holmes. He proudly. That's what bothers me about the situation. These are allegations. Yes. Okay. So for all we know, nothing happened. Right. So if these are allegations, why you won't address it like you would anything else or you call out for other people to address it, right? But Helen was smart. Helen put a mask on. But Andrew Holmes, don't ha he don't care. He's proudly walking around like people are not saying these things about him. To me, something in the water ain't clean. Something in the buttermilk not fresh. He's doing, it's something that he got on somebody, some kind of way where he's comfortable enough where he's not even worried. He's not even worried. 
something. Allegations. <laughs> he walks like his feet is bad. He, but remember, he jogged 12 blocks. He jogged. He <laughs> Tiffany. I know. I forgot. Oh my God. Mara, you are the best. She did stand there and say, Kamal, thanks for being a father to my daughter. That was the same person, right? It was Kamal the same one? You're right about that. If he loves you so much, he'll get a voice and come back where, where he is. Yeah, like what did what did they used to say? Make you an honest woman. Make you an honest woman. You know what I mean? Like you I we we were joking the other day. I, we were on a live, and I was like, I really don't want to know that my uh, elected officials is out here um having sex like or anything like that or have a boyfriend and then have a boyfriend and it'd be controversial i don't really want to know that i don't want to know nothing about your private life i don't want to know nothing about your private life like why do we know so much alleged stuff about their private life i don't want to know that i don't want to know that like it's just too much too much so um yeah, this is weird. We're going to keep our ear to the street. I guess it's the Lori effect. And we got to tell Jedediah he's shaking up somewhere. You guys, I have a question. I was looking at that Dalton politics group. Um, Did you need a... So what, what's the... Anybody know? What's the requirement to be code enforcer? Like, what kind of classes did you have to take? I want to cover that because... I don't think that ever was addressed. Like what kind of classes you have to take like when it got to Miss Kim and now Jedediah is bringing this stuff out. Like I, I kind of cringe with that because I'd be like, oh, I don't want it to get too messy. But why are these people taking these jobs and not getting any kind of licensing or background? Or I mean, I'm all for, I was talking to a girlfriend the other day and we were talking about, um, uh, something that was mentioned at the board meeting about someone not having a uh, education right allegedly so and i'm not doing this to shame this this is this is out there this was my thing my friend was telling me 22 years on a job is impressive right it's impressive on alone right so sometimes you ever had a job and they be like we'll take experience over uh this kind of education right so if you got the job to be code enforcement, I remember my, my boss, I had a job and my boss was trying to be a, a vice president of a school. She was trying to be VP, but she was three, I think three semesters shy or something like that of her degree, but she was in school and she still made the money because she it was in school, but she had all this experience. She didn't have the degree, but she was in school. She had all this experience. Why would these people walk around and get these good jobs and know they're supposed to have maybe code enforcement, like Miss Kim, allegedly, and not go get their certificate? Or why is it not like even those jobs? Don't they let you be in jobs and then you could do your training for free, even on? You know, the school, the job will pay for it. I'm just confusion. I'm confusion. You said, <laughs> I bet Miss Kim Lee for real. <laughs> Tony, his house is in Orland Park. It's through the roof. I used to live out there. The houses are 2.5 million and up, right? It, it is, but was she there 22 years because of lack of education and because you do not have it, it's hard to move around with just experience. That could be too. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. But I think it's still it's still impressive like to keep the job. Like, okay, I be trying to look at stuff like Miss Trina. Like what they said, they allegedly say about Kim. It, like she's this, she's that. What about if you get the opportunity to change it around, wouldn't you? That's I think that's where I'd be I'd be kind of stuck at. If you got the opportunity to change it, wouldn't you? Like if someone gave you the opportunity to just get it right, like wouldn't you try try it? 
would you just try it and see how like look let me get my ducks in a row let me not take no shortcuts because this could change my life and maybe in the next five years even though i don't want to be here in dalton like miss kim said nobody want to work here maybe i could work for another municipality and this could be my career i don't know i'm i'm just confused on why nobody wants to do the right thing you know I think the next village meeting is May 6th. May 6th. She quits weekly. <laughs> Miss Kim walking back. Hey, amazing. Walking back. Hey, y'all. Hey. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. Now it was supposed to be this month. Y'all, I we've been on here two hours. Didn't I tell y'all I wasn't gonna do it? So we saw what happened. We we see what's going on. The London Bridge is falling. I think they had that. Didn't they have that for Queen Elizabeth? That was a cold word if she died. London Bridge has fallen. Um, I just want people to get it right. I don't I don't wish this on anybody, but I have to take Jedediah's words. Remember, he was like, You were warned. Like, how many times are people asked, step down? Or we see like trusty SD when he went to the podium that time and said, just put Kiana Belcher picture up. Just do that. Like do the small things. Um, none of this. It's like we're better than you. Y'all all idiots. Something that the government pays for. Something that the municipality pays for. Something that the citizens pay for. You know what I mean? Whatever. Whoever pay for it. You want to say, oh, I got free money. I got grant money. Well, maybe we don't need to use that grant money for an ice skating rink. Maybe we need to use it for something else and plan later. All right, y'all. Let me get on out of here. I want to thank you. Let me, I told you, Grass Guy, did I tell you thank you for the $5 cash app? Thank you, Texas Lean, for buying me coffee. Three coffees. Thank you, Patricia, for buying me a coffee. Um, Thank you, Tanya, for buying me a coffee. Jay Jones, thank you for the uh, super chat. Tanya, thanks for becoming a member. Sean, thanks for becoming a member. Shout out to Hannibal is Hungry. Thanks for the $10 super chat. And thank you, Orbs, for the super sticker. How cute. All right. You guys, remember, I don't want to get sued. I got, I got some clothes. I, I got some jewelry. Uh, uh, the rest I got tied up in investments. I ain't got nothing else. And I'm not here to judge because... Bitches be getting cheated on every day. It's Bitches be getting cheated on every day. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye. Commentary blue. Commentary burgundy. Burgundy. Commentary Com commentary blue. Commentary. Comment burgundy blue. Commentary blue. Commentary burgundy. Burgundy. Commentary. Com commentary.